ASU's homecoming weekend is here, and WALB News 10's Raisa Buckles is at ASU's campus to tell us how students are already starting their celebrations. Raisa, are the kids out there already kind of getting it going? Hey, Melissa, yes, everyone's out here. The kids are out here, uh, alumni are out here, and I am down at the pedestrian mall here at ASU's campus. As you can see, there are a ton of local vendors surrounding me, um, some selling artwork, others selling clothes, um, including this table right here behind me. Look at this T-shirt right here. You can get Greek T-shirts right here on ASU's campus. Now, earlier this morning, they held their convocation uh, to kick off this weekend's events with guest speaker Monroe High School principal Vinton Davis and I spoke to an alumnus who is thrilled to share her HBCU pride with her fellow classmates. Take a listen. We're excited to see my Saras uh, who we are going to be meeting up with late, late, uh, later and um, just fellowshipping because it's been quite a while and glad to see our campus, our beautiful campus here. The most highly anticipated events are tomorrow, starting with the homecoming parade at 9 a.m., followed by the main event, the homecoming game with ASU Rams playing against Clark Atlanta University. That game starts at 2 p.m. ASU is expected to have more than 25,000 people visit its campus over the weekend. Now, later tonight, we'll bring you a live coverage of uh, the block party that they're going to have on their campus. Live at ASU's campus, Marisa Buckles, WAOB News 10.